it's your boy Aces for Aces on the go and welcome for another episode in this episode I'm gonna show you how to make a resin stand for your action figures that's right a hundred percent resin I'm gonna show you how to do this real quick just follow the video with me I try my best for you to catch it if you don't rewind the video look at it again but anyway let's go straight to the video of making this resin stand all right Let's do this. All right, guys. The stand I'm about to make is out of resin. And I'm making it for my Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Since I got four of these figures, I'm going to put them on a nice custom stand made out of resin. And I'm going to show you how to do that right now. As you can see, guys, I already did one of the stands. I did the Michelangelo stand. So... I'll be doing other stands just like this one. This one is the green and orange. I still got to do the green and purple, the green and blue, and the green and red. I still haven't done those colors yet. I just did one so y'all know exactly what I'm working with. I also did the lead in the front. You don't have to customize it. Make it a little beautiful. Make it a little, little glamour, if you want to say. This is the orange. This resin. I use. Let me take the figure down. The figure arts. And that's what the stand looks like, guys. Up close. You can see what I'm working with. I made this out of resin. 100% resin. Which is better than the stand that you buy in the store. Now, let's show you how to make this thing. First things you're gonna need, guys. You're gonna need a mold. This mold right here, it was hard to find because you can't just look up action figure molds. You're not really gonna find none, nothing popped up, but you could look up stands. And it's different type of stands. This is like, this is a stand, this is like a universal stand. You can use it for cups, small vase, and ashtray whatever you want to use small things on your little statue and this one i think was perfect to make a stand for my action figures which you just seen but you will need this definitely we need stickers you will need measuring cups This cup I use the uh, um to do the colors when I'm putting the color of the resin. Mixing stick. This is my um little spoon I use to put the um the pigment of the color inside my resin. Um this is the green I will be using. That's close to the turtle goo that which made them, so I use that as the um base of the stand. And the one I'm making right now is for Raphael, so which is this red right here I'm using that matches his red that he have on him himself. This for the make it for him right here. And I'm also gonna need this right here. So when I do the R mold, which is right here, so I'll make the little R. What else I'm missing, guys? Oh, this is my wife blower this for the resin. This to help keep the bubbles out of your resin when you're doing the mixture. And plus, I got a little torch, a little lighter torch. It also helps keep the bubbles out of your resin. We're not going to show you how that's done. Plus, you're going to need your mixture of resin, which I'm using right here. It's from Maz, as you can see right here. This one is the hardener, and this is actually the epoxy resin. Wait, can I get a focus on that? Oh, guess not. I hope I could have got a, a better view of it, but that's what this is. And I'm going to use 50-50. That'll be my mixture. And I already experimented doing my other stands. So I already know this right here, it goes up to... Let me show you right here. I'm going to only go up to 80 when I do my mixture of uh, green. So when I do the other color, 
all I do is add 20% and then I use a clear over that which I will show you so right now I'm going to prepare the resin I'm going to add 50 50 and to my measuring cup so let's just do that now now I'm going to add the resin remember I'm doing 50 50 ratio guys so let's pour So I'm doing 40, the resin, so I have to do 40 of the hardener, we'll make it 50-50. Then I will mix this, guys. You mix it for like three minutes, and after you mix it for three minutes, then I put some heat on it to get some of the bubbles out. So I'll see you in three minutes. Okay, guys, I did three minutes of mixing. As you can see, there's a little bit of bubbles in there. To get rid of some of the bubbles, that's when you use the, um, the hot air gun, which I'm going to show you how to use it right now. This is how I use it. Everybody got their ways of using it. I put the heat right here and I spin slowly and get what I can out of it. And you gotta be careful when you do this, guys. Cause heat actually activates the chemicals faster. That makes it get um gunky and it will get hard real fast by using heat so if you plan to put things in your resin make sure you have everything already set to the side and ready to put it in when you do it like this with heat okay that's good now I'm going to put some green gook which I call it the goo, I put a spoon of this, this is for my base, get a nice green texture, then I mix that in, yeah be careful when you're mixing this because this is the, um, the powder and it's so fine that when you Spin it too fast, it actually goes in the air. You can end up um, getting in your eye, go all different places. It's a very thin, dust like material. If y'all hear like children playing in the background for some reason next door, the, the kids are outside, they're having some fun, they're playing around. So you might hear that in the background, guys. So bear with me. I just spin it for another like a little minute. I can already feel my texture getting real warm because the heat activated more faster, which I want. I don't want to sit there too long for more problems to happen, guys. You all scrape around the edges. We want that mixture to be perfect. Use the heat gun again. This time I really get into it and get all those bubbles out. Ooh, that's hot. The 
got the color how I want it. So you can see there, it's a nice green color. Now I take the stand. Make sure you got a nice flat surface, guys. Plus, it's gonna heal kind of quickly. Actually, when I do it this way, guys, believe it or not, I select me 30 minutes. It's hard enough so I can put another texture over it. I mean, it's hard. <laughs> in there get that in there Here it goes. any bubbles that give you problem guys that's when you take this and you just tap it you don't want to put too much flame there because you don't want to burn your mold little sparks here and there it'll get those bubbles out I should do it. I wait 30 minutes and I'll apply the second coat. Okay, guys, been 30 minutes behind the scene. I made some more. So, solution I got the 50 50. Um, half of it is resin, half hardener. And I'm about to lay down the letter at the same time. And my total is 30 minutes. Look at this, guys. It's already hard already. In 30 minutes. Actually, like it was on 20 minutes, it was already hard, but it was too hot to handle. But now, I'm going to put some color in here and get this thing going, guys. I'm going to put some red. This is the best red I had there. It says red, but for some reason it got like a like a little pinkish to it. But it says it's red. Okay. And a nice whooping spoon of it. Bow. There you go, guys. Put that to the side. Mix it up. It's like fairy dust. That's how thin it is. Yeah, this thing got like a, a pinkish, reddish color to it, but I know it's red. But look, guys, it's like a pink, like red to it, which I don't really care for. You know what? I got some other stuff I could put on it. One second, guys. I got some of this stuff. Maybe this might make it more red. Put a squirt in that in here. Maybe make the red more red than what it is. Okay, it was too pinkish to me. Okay, that didn't do that much better. <laughs> but it's like a pink red. But it's still red, but to me, I don't know. It's red. It is what it is, guys. But I 
wish I could have got it differently, but it actually matches. I'm sorry for getting in front of the camera, guys, but it actually matches him a little bit. So this will do. Now, use the heat gun. The more you do it, the more liquefy it gets. And that's what I want. It helps get all those bubbles out of there. And at the same note, it activates the chemical faster. But you get less time to position or put anything in your resin when you do so. Get him mixed up real good. Okay. Now half of this is gonna be on the stand, and the other half is gonna be for the letter. And this thing gets real hot, guys. That's why I use this other cup for the smaller cup. I need to put. 20% in this cup guys so I will pour 20% in here which is half of the solution I made because I use 20 20 which is 50 50 but it's from 40 I use 20 of hardener 20 of resin which I'm going to only use that 20, which is half on the stand and the other half on the letter. Okay, that being said, let's move this a little closer so you can see how I do this. Like so. All right. All right pour this in there. Make sure that they close to the edges. It would automatically level itself, but I like to give it the help. There we go. There you go, guys. That's the top layer. Put some heat. Don't go too close. You go too close, you end up spilling your resin, which you don't want to do. Then I have to let this sit for another 30 minutes before I add the letter in. Well, I'm not going to use the letter resin. It's a sticker um, R that I'm going to put on top of that. And then let that set again. And then I'll put the clear over that and I'll leave that overnight. But let's go out of here like this. So you can see the letter R right here, which is going to be in front of the stand. Which I'm going to put the rest of this red resin in. Here on the side, guys. Well, slowly, it's already getting thick because the chemicals are already reacting, which what I want. So I'm not really adding anything in here anyway. Oops, there we go. What 
I usually do when that happens. Don't do what I do, guys. I use my finger. I don't care. I like it nice, perfect. Well, almost perfect. You know, such thing as perfect. There you go. Since I got some more guys, I'm going to pour this on another, another leather. I'm not going to waste this. I'll pour it over here. You might not see what I'm pouring in that, guys. I'm pouring in the leather G. I'm not going to erase the resin that I have in here. When you're doing projects like this, you might have a little bit left over. It's always good to use it on something else. But I'm going to wait 30 minutes, guys. Then we're going to come back to this. It's nice and tacky enough, kind of hard, that, that I could put the sticker on there with no problem. It won't be smudged and nothing like that, and I can move on. So, see you in 30 minutes. Okay, guys, it's been 30 minutes. About to add the sticker here real quick. Then I put some clear over it. So I'm about to get in front of you for a little bit, guys. So I can get this thing on here evenly. There you go. Bring a little closer so you can see. Bow. I think that's good. What do you think, guys? Is the R. Now I'll put some clear coat over it. And then the clear coat right here. Fix it back in view. So you see what I'm doing, guys. Okay, I gotta heat this up. I got me some more mixture that I mixed. This is just for the top. It'll be a clear coat. Same thing I did for the rest, but I won't be adding no color to it. Get all the bubbles out. Trying to liquefy it as much as possible. I probably did it for a good 60 seconds or so. This thing get hot. Alright, let's see if we can right about now. I think 
I should do it, guys. It's real hot. Let me get a better view so I can start doing the pour. Like so. Okay. This thing is really hot. I'm not going to lie to you guys. Ooh. I should be wearing some gloves. But I'm too lazy. <laughs> I think I might have to use something to hold it. Okay, it is hot. Uh, there you go. Okay, here we go. I always work my way to the outside. Even though it level itself, but I give it much help as possible. What I like to do also, I like give it a nice eye level. Make sure it's not going over too much over the edge. You want it to have that, uh, not so much level, but just a little bit over level. It'll give it that look. Put it down there a little bit more for pour. Just a little bit more probably. I think that's it right there. That's it there, guys. And if you see any bubbles, which I don't really see any, but when you do, you take your lighter and just Over like that. There you go. Now I won't touch this until the next day. Well, I should say like, well, really, I won't touch it for like eight, ten hours. That way, I know it's perfect. I have nothing to worry about it. I take out the mold. It, nothing will be soft on there. Everything should be formed right. And then when I do that, guys, then you'll see the end results. So I guess I see y'all in what? 10 hours from now <laughs> or the next day. But to you, it'd be in seconds. So I'll see you in a minute. Okay, guys, this is the next day. Time to take this thing out the mold. You see how it came out. But before I do that, guys, behind the scenes, I have made two more. But these two more are different, guys. I made these right here. See-through ones. I made these see-through ones so that you can put lightning underneath. You can do almost a lot of things with these right here. These for like for multi-use. It's not custom for one character. You put almost any character on here, almost anything on these. And you can see there are aces on the go. I made two of these. One of these, which is this one, guys, will be a giveaway. And I'll tell you how to win this at the end of the video. I made a resin stand that you can use for almost anything you want. It don't have to be an action figure. Like I said, it could be a vase, a small flower pot, or a statue. Anything you want to use it for. I got this for you, and I'll tell you how to win it. This one I made for myself, which I also made a hole, which I'm going to tell you why I put that hole in there. One second. I know everyone who have action figures have one of these one of these stands right here, these regular stands, stuff like that. Well, I wanted mine to be universal. So I made that hole so that way it depends what character I have on there. If I want to do a real nice 
action pose instead of a, just a regular standing pose. I got this. Put it in there. And I could pose this thing. There you go. There you go. Bam. How I want it. Now, I could put my action figure on there and pose it how I want to. Makes this a way better stand than these. A more quality, more expensive, more looking stand than these little plastic things. So now it will actually look real nice in the display case. So you want to, you have expensive action figures. You want a nice looking expensive stand to go with them. And here it is. This is how you do it. Right here. But this one is up for grabs. I will tell you how to win this bad boy at the end of the video. Now let's continue in and see what I got going on here. Now, let's take it out the mold. To take it out the mold is, is kind of tricky. You gotta find a seam that you can open. There you go. And you go around slowly bit by bit, because you don't want to mess up your mold, rip it by accident, go around, slowly, so everything is open from the side view, there you go, then I lift it, and I'll get one leg at a time, out, boom, boom, there we go, Voila, look at this. That's the bottom, and that's the top. There you go, guys. I showed you how to make a action figure stand, which this one is for Raphael. And I also did the letter. So, and then when I have it in display, I'll have Raphael stand on the stand on the stand, and all I have to do is rest the R, just like that. So it looks like that. Now you remember, I already made one before for Michelangelo, which is this one right here. But. I still gotta make two more guys. So what I'm about to do, let me get a little closer here. Do some magic and make the other ones I gotta make. So here we go. Ha ha. Leonardo. Here's the L. Okay, I'm missing one more. Time to make that one. Hey, hey. Donatello. What do you think, guys? Let me back with away so you can get a good view of them. Let's see how these things look with the guys on them. How about that? So you can see what I'm talking about. Huh. Okay. Michelangelo. That's how it will look. You might want to see a closer view. Wait. Let me bring him closer. Let me move this out the way. That's a better view. There you go. Michelangelo.
This is how I'll be posing them, guys. I think that's cool. I think that's further away. Well, how about I have it in the display case? I'll probably have them like. M. This. Everybody have their own spot. I'll probably do a setup like that, maybe. Get the characters are going. I got two more. One second, guys. Let me put it like that. There they go. The turtles on the stands, guys. It's simple to make. You can make it, make it yourself. Let's go out there, you buy the things like you saw on this video. Um, you can get those things on almost anywhere. Amazon, eBay. You shop around, there's different type of resins you want to use. Different prices. Come up with your own ideas. The stand don't have to be like the same stand I use. You can have any other stand you want to use. You just got to up your game. I'm trying to up my game. I know everybody else is up in the game. And this is a little something I wanted to share with y'all and how to make the stand for your action figure. So, now let's end this video and tell you how to win this. Where did I put it at? Your own resin stand from Aces on the Go. So let's get to it. There you go. Y'all, I hope you'll like that. I hope a lot of y'all go out there, make your own stands. It's the best way to save money instead of going out there and buying a whole bunch of plastic stands when you get a nice resin stand that actually worth more money for especially when you have those expensive action figures that you have like I have like all of us be having in our adult collection. So go out there, get some epoxy resin, make your own stuff, get some molds. Make matter of fact, you can make more than just stands. You can make me some good stuff and holler at me. And let me know you got a video about it and let me see it. Hey, no problem with that. We all family here. But anyway, now I'm going to tell you the rules to get your own Aces on the Go action figure stand or whatever you want to put on it. You can put on your boss, small plot, statues, whatever you want to put on this thing. It's all right with me. I made it. You have it. It's yours. You do what you want to do with it. But to get this thing, you have to be subscribed, guys. That's number one. You have to be subscribed to this channel. And then you have to have your subscription not on private. Because when I'm picking a winner and I want to see you subscribe to me, I have to be able to go to your channel and click and see if you actually subscribe to me. If your stuff is on private, I can't tell you subscribe or not, guys. But hear me out. I know there's a lot of you out there don't want people to see um, who they subscribe to and stuff like that. Just until this is over, because it's going to be for only a week, have it to the public, and as soon as this thing is over, then you put it back in private. No problem, okay? So the first thing you have to do is be subscribed, guys. The second thing you need to do, you got to press that like button. Make sure you press that like button and everything is all good. The third thing I want you to do, I want you to share this video. I'm not asking too much, guys. Let's share the video. Share it to anybody. You don't have to be one person. You don't have to share it to a whole bunch of different networks and all that bunch of crap. Let's share it to one person or one place or Facebook, wherever you want to share it to. Let's share it one time. It's all good, okay? And the last thing I want you to do, oh, yeah, for, oh, first, press that bell button. Press that bell button. Make sure you press that bell button. That's automatic. But I also also want you to say, I want that damn thing. That's it. You say, I want that damn thing. Then I know you want this. It's that simple, guys. You follow those rules. Next week, I'm going to pick a winner. Because I'll be doing an unboxing of this bad boy right here.
friend of mine. His name is Talker Art. He's got a nice channel, guys. He's got a perfect collection of action figures. You name it, he probably got it. He sent me this right here, guys, and I appreciate it so much. And I'll be doing an unboxing on this right here. I do the unboxing next week with this. I will announce the winner of this. It's that simple, guys. So, you already know what I'm about to do right now, right? For all the people around the world, I want you to have a good morning, a good afternoon, and a good night. Peace. This is your boy, Aces for Aces on a go. Press that like button. And if you don't, it's okay. It's all right. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed before. And you haven't done that either, you already know. Your boy H has still got love for you. Press that bell button. I might have another video coming out. Well, I should have another video coming out anyway for next week for that thing. You know what I mean? You don't want to miss it. So press that bell button, all right? It's that simple. To everyone else now, enjoy your hobby. Stay hydrated. And I will definitely see you on the next video. And I appreciate you watching, okay? Thanks for watching, guys. See you next video. It's your boy AC for H's on a go. Welcome for another episode, guys. This episode, I'm making an action figure stand. I'm gonna make it out of um resin. So this is gonna be a quick way of uh, I'm fucking this shit up. What's up, guys? This your boy AC for H's on a go. What's up? Oh my god. Goodness.